what in tarnation? Huh? Did somebody oh. call the birthday bandito? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Hey, Pastor Man, play the tune. Happy birthday to Anybody supposed to follow that one, huh? Welcome back to Evening Focus. I'm Pastor Michael Miller, and we're wishing Amy Palmer a happy birthday today. Well, today's been uh, a significant day. In Rock County, we have moved into phase one of the reopening. And it was interesting today, as I was driving around, I could just, I could feel there was some new and different energy in the air. I know people have been anxious to, to get reconnected and re-engaged uh, in life and in the community. And I, I don't know if I saw anything in particular that made me sense that, but it just felt like maybe there were more people out and it was a nice day, so maybe that was a part of it too. But uh, I had that sense of energy myself, and also at the same time uh, a feeling of concern and, and caution. Um, so I, I just want to take the opportunity today to lift up that while the County Public Health Department invited the beginning of a reopening, they're continuing to say that we should do many of the same things that we've been doing. So wearing masks, maintaining at least a six-foot distance uh, between people, um, avoiding going out in public when we don't need to, and especially for those who are most vulnerable to the virus, people who are 60 and over, who have underlying health conditions, women who are pregnant, um, all those people should continue to avoid being out in public any more than is necessary. Um, so it takes us, I think it just takes us right back again to uh, the message in John's Gospel that we've been hearing through the season of Easter. And part of that message is love. That's what it's all about. Uh, that's, that's what Jesus is expressing to everybody he speaks to by his words and by his actions. Uh, we remember that, that key verse in the most memorable verse in the Gospel of John, perhaps the most memorable verse in all the Bible to many people, that God so loved to the world that he gave his only son, so that whoever believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Um, so it starts with the love of God that is seeking to give life, and then as we've heard in the recent Gospel readings, Jesus is now passing that purpose and mission on to his followers that as he's loved, now they're to love, so that that love of God flows now through each of us to the world. And so in this challenging time, uh, we were, we're invited to think carefully about what that means, what that looks like. Uh, how do you express love for one another uh, in, in these difficult times? So we've been talking a lot about that. And I invite you to continue to, to wrestle with that yourselves. How do, we, how do we move back into connection with one another economically and in terms of community, but at the same time, be conscious of the fact that at any point we could be carrying the virus and, and spreading it to somebody. So what do we need to do to love one another, to really care for one another? More than our own personal needs and desires, how do we tend to the ones who are around us um, in order that the, the love of God that desires to give life may be seen and heard and felt through us. Uh, so I just invite us all to continue to think about that and wrestle with that um, because that's going to be our ongoing challenge, especially as, as things begin to open up. Uh, we need to know that the virus hasn't gone away. It's still there. 
And so in the midst of trying to move back into a world where that virus remains present, how do we, how do we best care for one another? So as we come together to pray today, uh, let's, let's hold that especially in mind. Gracious God, we give you thanks for your love. A love that pours itself out freely, willingly, and without limit. Open our hearts. Open our eyes. Awaken our awareness that we might perceive that gift of love that pours down upon us every day, at every moment. And that we might be enlivened to remember that that presence. And then, gracious God, as we feel that love, as we experience it, as we trust it, even when we can't see it or feel it, give us the desire, the will, the freedom to let that love flow through us to the people around us us to relax the tightness that tries to cling to protect to prove ourselves and allow us to let go into your love that it might flow to others and now remembering that movement of love that comes from God to us and through us we ask for those who are most in need today. Remember today those who are struggling, especially because of the economic changes that have left us feeling kind of dizzy, not knowing what the future will look like. For those who have lost their income, who have lost their livelihood, who have lost their vision for what the future will look like. Give them courage and comfort and help them to trust that your love is still pouring out upon them. Give life. Guide them by your spirit. young people, children who will be returning to daycare shortly. It opens up new opportunities for parents to, to be able to engage more fully in their work, but there's risk involved in that as well. Keep them safe. Bless, protect, and guide their teachers. Again, that your love may be flowing among them and through them. Hold everyone in your care. Again, let us pray for those who are who are ill. Let us pray for those who are dying. Pray for the healthcare workers and those who are responding to those most in need. Let us pray for those who are guiding the path forward, making the decisions about how this reopening, how this return to life together can be done with a reasonable degree of safety and with wisdom. Guide us all as the days move forward that we may, in all that we do, Express your love for one another. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
<laughs> you startled me there. How, how are you? I, well, I'm doing. I'm doing well. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah. Hey, uh, Ronnie. Ronnie, you've got your mask. Uh, Ben. Yes, Ronnie. Puppets aren't real. <laughs> See, no breath. Oh, oh. Whatever you say, Ronnie. So anyways, how are you doing, Ronnie? I think overall I'm doing pretty good. That's good. Yeah, yeah excellent. Okay. I've been thinking a lot. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about what Pastor Michael keeps talking about. Mm. Keeps talking about love. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He says, so we should love one another as Jesus has loved us. Yeah, that, well, that, that sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, Mom? but I'm not sure I know what that looks like. Hmm. You know what that means, Ben? Well, Ronnie, sometimes I think I know. I'll tell you what, maybe a song will help. Okay. got a song for that, don't we, Dan? I think we do, Ben. So this is a song that my friend Renee had taught me a while back. 
And what better song to sing about grace than Amazing Grace? But we're going to do it a little differently this time. It's Amazing Grace, Hallelujah. A little bit of Jesus loves me sprinkled in there. We're talking about grace and, and love and, and singing praise to God with hallelujah. So please follow along with our lyrics. everybody and let's turn it all over to Pastor Michael for our sending inspiration. Our loving of one another certainly does begin with the gift of grace, the gift of God's love poured out upon us. So as we continue to to experience that love and to allow that love to move through us, uh, we will be continuing to think as First Lutheran Church about how do we live that out in this time of the pandemic. So as things begin to open up, uh, the worship board and the Life Together board will be thinking about how, how we can do that. Um, some of the biggest challenges that we face for coming back to worship are the fact that we sing. Mm. You know, that's so central to what we do in worship and uh, we share responses and so in all that we're projecting our breath out into the closed space when we're gathered indoors well except for ronnie yeah <laughs> except for ronnie so uh, we can have a we can have a gathering of puppets for worship but for all the rest of us to get together that uh, that takes some careful consideration so we're going to be thinking about that and working toward plan um, and we'll let you know as as the plans develop so as we come to the end today, we're going to go ahead and come back to the, the chant that we, that we shared at the beginning of our evening focus times when we, when we started this, changeless and calm. Um, because our love begins with the, the gift of God's grace poured out upon us, we root ourselves in that, that love and that presence so that it may move in us. 
change the sand calm deep history and calm deep mystery ever more deeply rooted in thee changeless and calm deep mystery ever And so we keep coming back to that center, to that space. And this time, I think, gives us an opportunity to learn that trust at a deeper level. Uh, because we have to. So keep rooting yourself in God's presence. Keep chanting that that phrase. And together we'll learn. Together we'll trust. And together we'll love one another. Have a good night now. And we'll see you again.